This video introduces how IVF works. The menstrual cycle of fertile women usually lasts about a month. During this time, and under the influence of the body's own natural hormones, a tiny sac within the ovary containing an egg grows to about the size of a grape. At a point midway in the cycle, this egg is released from the ovary and ovulation occurs. Ovulation is also regulated by hormones. The egg, which from this moment on is ready for fertilization, then passes into the uterine tubes to await the arrival of fertile sperm. Ovulation is a naturally occurring event, and the desire to have children is a similarly natural instinct. But that instinct cannot always be fulfilled. The causes of unwanted childlessness are numerous, but so are the means of treating them. The technique of in vitro fertilization, or IVF, removes several eggs from the ovary for fertilization in the laboratory. After a few days, one or two of these fertilized eggs, which are now known as embryos, are returned to the uterus in the hope that they implant and become a pregnancy. Women having IVF are given special reproductive hormones to encourage several eggs to develop in the ovaries. Final maturation of the egg itself is induced by the administration of a further hormone. 36 hours later, fluid containing the eggs is drawn from the ovary with a needle. This is usually performed under light sedation in a short outpatient procedure with the doctor using ultrasound to check proceedings. The eggs collected from the ovary are then mixed with a sample of the male partner's sperm which has already been washed and concentrated. The eggs and sperm are left in an incubator set at 37 degrees for 24 hours so that fertilization can take place. During this time, only one of the many sperm cells will penetrate the outer layer of the egg and achieve fertilization. Following fertilization, the cells divide and multiply and form an embryo. After two or three days, a healthy embryo will comprise around eight cells. It is then transferred to the uterus by means of a thin, flexible tube where it is left to implant and form a pregnancy. All these methods of assisted reproduction offer couples a good chance of bringing a healthy baby into the world. A consultation and thorough examination are necessary for each individual patient for finding the most appropriate treatment with the highest chance of success. Because female fertility decreases quite quickly after the age of 35, infertile couples should not delay seeking appropriate medical advice. Thank you for watching this video at www.ivfpatiented.com.